Hi, this is a video on the Jump Kit selfie stick tripod. Now I bought this from Amazon for $7.99. I'll go around the box. And for, at first we got here the model number which is the K10. And it says here selfie stick integrated tripod at the top. And at the bottom here it has yeah, wireless 360 degree rotating the smallest size it goes down to is 18.6 centimeters and the largest expanded it will go up to 70 centimeters multi-directional rotating on the side here it uh, tells you that it has a stainless steel body which is basically the shaft uh, remote uh, wireless control which is for the shutter uh, the head which holds the phone has the phone mount itself is 360 degree rotating and it can bend at 120 degrees and 120 degrees it can bend and just under the sticker is basically the length what I just quoted you and then we da down here how to set up the remote shutter the instructions on that on the back we have a picture of the phone in the mount and on the back of this it has a mirror to help you do selfies on there and the specifications here which is the main material of stainless steel the mount holder can go between 2.9 to 4 inches wide uh, retracted length as I quoted before it's here 7.6 inches and extended length is 27.6 inches so that's in inches the one I gave you before was in centimeters and just general overall product size and the size battery it takes which is a 60 CR 1632 now this takes a battery doesn't rely on um, charging um, so you don't get a charging cord it strictly relies on a battery it's compatible with iOS and Android and on this side it just shows you how it will look when you, it's fully extended and the rotation that it can go into landscape and portrait and just some general information at the bottom and this is what you get in the box you get a manual which is in English and in Chinese so you get a manual there and we get the selfie stick tripod now it is compact I do give it that and I like how it has this clicking motion again for adjustment which is quite good and that is your shutter button here which should be removable so if I extend it a bit this is removable and can take out and as I stated before it uses a CR1632 battery in there now the whole thing is mainly construct of construction is of plastic um, straight away it's the handle is not ergonomic the handle is not ergon ergonomic at all it's just a straight bar and it's there is no rubber on the handle I'll open out the legs and just by looking at the legs it's very thin plastic no rubber on the ends of the legs at all so that is another disadvantage which I do not like um, at the top here on the phone mount there's the mirror and this has a folding system for its um, phone mount whereby you just take it out like so and we have rubber here and here so rubber grips and it is also spring loaded to grab your phone which is a very tight spring on there I give it that and as I say it's foldable down 
Now I'm going to show you um, how to connect the shutter button to your phone. Now to connect this shutter button to your phone you simply press down on the shutter button and as you can see on the left hand side just above my thumb is a little hole but which, which is the LED light which is in blue. You keep your finger down on that button so the LED light is flashing. Now if you've got iOS or an Apple stroke Apple phone you go into settings go to Bluetooth uh, make sure your Bluetooth is on and as you scroll down it will appear here and it will come up as selfie com and you simply press connect and it then it will connect to the phone now if it requests for a pair uh, number um, to pair a pair code is simply four zeros or one two three four now if you've got an Android phone your same system kind of goes again you go into settings then your Bluetooth you um, it depends how old your Android system is it may act um, to see um, to scan for devices as to make your phone known to other Bluetooth devices so make your phone be known to other Bluetooth devices same again keep your finger down on the shutter button this blue light at the side will flash and then you just connect you, as I says you may be asked for a code which is four zeros or one two three four and then just connect to it and then that's it and your shutter button is then connected to the phone via Bluetooth. Now here's the um, my phone on the selfie stick tripod and I'm going to extend it. Now what I always tell you I do not take the overall measurements of these selfie stick tripods or what they claim. I always go by these two points which is basically the top of the handle to the base of the phone mount and that length is 16 inches long. And the reason why I do that is because if you take the overall length you're losing some of the length in the hand grip here on the handle and also on the phone to mount the phone so you're losing the actual true length so it's 16 inches between these two points now just before I go, go in, uh, into it about it the shaft here is stainless steel and it has a seam down the middle to give it extra strength and as you can see it's, it does on the basis of the old-fashioned car aerials where it extends out and friction holds it into place at that length obviously you can have it shorter if you want but it's friction that holds it so you don't need to twist um, for the phone mount here as I show as the phone mount here as you can see it grips the phone no problem and this is holding an iPhone SE and it can grip even bigger phones as well so I wouldn't worry about that I have tried my um, wife's um, note and it fits in here no problem so you can go for bigger phones with this now I like the system of clicking in the, if you want to tilt um, your phone to face you that I really do like that system the only negative thing though I do not like is because this is plastic there's a screw in here and you can't get to the screw and because it's plastic on plastic which is basically locking it into place after a while of continuous loose beware because that could wear down at least if it had a thumb screw in there at least I prefer that method because at least you can tighten it and and loosen it so you don't it's one less thing to worry about but this hasn't seemed to have got it at all 
Now, as for your phone going into landscape and portrait, at the moment it's in landscape. And if you adjust the phone slightly, and there we have portrait. So we have portrait and you simply turn and you've got landscape. Now it does say it's got a 360 degree turn. So if I take my phone out to show you that, meaning that it doesn't matter which way you go, this still turns all the way around. So it doesn't matter which direction you go, it's got a 360 degree turn. Now it has a 120 degree um, rotation, so that means that way, all the way to that way, 120 degrees on there. And now I'm gonna test the shutter button now. I like testing these and the reason being is some shutter buttons and some of these selfie sticks mutes the sound of the shutter for the camera. Uh, not all of them, but some of them do. So we're gonna test if this mutes it or you get the sound. So there, you got the sound. So I'm gonna put it into video. There's the sound, starting it. And that's the sound to finish it. So it doesn't mute the sound of the um, shutter on your phone, which is very good. So I'll switch it out. Now, as I said for the construction now, the thing I do not like is the handle here. It is all plastic and it's very, very smooth. So if you're get sweaty if you're in a hot country or even in this country in the summer or whatever it basically if you get sweaty palms it's going to be really not grippy at all so i do not like that at all so that's another negative i do like the big mirror that you got on the back here which is quite good um, which helps you if you want to do um, selfie shots like that um, using the main camera at the back which is quite good because you can line yourself up with the camera lens so that's that's not too bad i like that that's a good idea now i'm going to show you how it looks like when you fully extend it on the uh, extend it to show you what it looks like now this is how it looks when it's uh, floor standing here um, it's not a very torn selfie stick uh, tripod at all not very not very um, tall now if you're going to use this outside my suggestion is it is suitable for, for being on a table or on a chair or on a bench etc things like that only use this outside my uh, opinion only use this outside on non windy days even if there's a slightest breeze, I'd still would not use that, especially if you've got a bigger phone than um, this iPhone SE. Um, I would not use it because the base here, or which I call the footprint of it, is very narrow. It's very, very narrow and can easily be blown over because these legs here are just plastic and there's no actual weight in these legs at all. If it had a more of a wider um, stance to it, it would have been all right, but it's quite narrow, so I wouldn't use this outside. Now for indoors, it is perfect, especially for on tables, work surfaces, etc. It is perfect for indoors. So if you're gonna use this particular selfie stick tripod, I would just use it for, and you want it in this kind of configuration to stand up, and to use the shutter button I'd use it mainly indoors now this is my two pence worth opinion of this selfie stick tripod from jump kit now if you're going on holiday and you're mainly taking photos inside buildings um, ie historical buildings such as churches cathedrals 
museums, um, art galleries, stuff like that, if they allow you with these in. It is not a bad selfie stick um, tripod for indoor use when it's when you have to use the tripod end with the feet it is not bad for outdoor use I would not use this outdoors as I says the footprint of this is very very narrow and can easily get blown over in the slightest breeze so I would not use it outdoors for that now if you're going to use it for outdoors in its selfie stick mode as that it is brilliant it is not too bad and as I says for the price even if you lose it or damage it it's not you're not losing that amount of money I know it's eight quid but it's only eight quid you're losing the shutter button um, on this is quite nice um, it's quite a decent size shutter button so um, it's just a pity that it hasn't got a hole to put a lanyard on there but it's a decent size shutter button so that's okay the phone mount i'd say is decent it's a decent phone mount and it really does grip your phone which i like and i also like the mirror that is placed on the back of this as well uh, so you can able to use if you want it to take selfies you can use the actual about that. it's my grandfather clock start starting up now I like the mirror on the back so you can actually use the um, main camera to take selfies which with rather than the front facing camera so that's brilliant so I like that that's a good idea okay them are the positives uh, about this selfie stick which I like and I like the strong stem as well that's a positive now I'm just going to run through the disadvantages of this selfie stick which I don't like. First of all, the legs. The legs on this selfie stick are the thin plastic. That's why I say it's good for indoor use only in the tripod mode. Right, very thin plastic and they feel cheap. The handle, there is no rubber grip on there, no rubber texture on there. No dimple, no kind of um, ingrained um, grooving on there for any grip whatsoever. So it feels absolutely smooth and feels like cheap plastic. So that's just a no-no. So that's a disadvantage. The other disadvantage is the top where the phone mount meets the stem. The clickiness and position to put your phone in is brilliant, but as I said, this is plastic rubbing against plastic and eventually if you keep doing that, it will wear down and there is no way of tightening it at all. So I would rather prefer if John Kit put a thumb screw there so you can tighten it yourself because at least with a thumb screw, if it gets any loose, you can just tighten it yourself. But there is no way of tightening that. So that's another disadvantage. The other disadvantage is to deal with um, the phone mount itself. Now, one thing I noticed with my iPhone SE when it was in this, this barely moved. So it barely never raised up and the iPhone just simply slipped in there. Now, if your phone is about the size of an iPhone SE or iPhone 5, or four just be aware that it ain't gonna grip it so tight than if it was anything like the iPhone 7 upwards I sorry iPhone 6 upwards so anything as size of the iPhone 6 upwards that includes Android phones it will give it some grip but anything lower like an SE or 5 or 4 going down it ain't gonna grip it so good so that's another disadvantage about that but Overall, general opinion on this uh, score, I give it an overall score of this selfie stick tripod. I would give it out of 10, personally, is a four out of 10 for this selfie stick tripod. So if you're looking for something to take out on a trip abroad or just on a day trip and you don't mind if it gets battered or you lose it 
it's something that you'd buy like this and you'd buy this but if it's something that you're gonna you want to take on multiple trips to bring it back home take out to another trip such and such I would look elsewhere and look at my other videos on other selfie stick tripods because they are better um, ones out there than this one now if you bought this selfie stick please let us know down in the comment section of what you thought about it and if you had any problems with it just to let other people know about it before they buy it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down and I am absolutely one thing before I finish I'm sorry about the lighting and because I'm filming this believe it or not around 11 o'clock at night and I'm using my main light here and another light here which I've only got and um, I normally film my YouTube videos on the weekend using hopefully using natural light I'm um, using natural light and that so if the video looks a bit dark I'm sorry about that because um, we're gonna have work done on the weekend so I can't do my videos then so I'm filming them in the week straight after work so sorry about the lighting but I can't help that uh, like I say is thanks for watching